Hey, in this video, I want to talk about how to pay employees in QuickBooks 2018. Uh, and we're looking at here a sample company file for the desktop version of QuickBooks 2018. So one thing you need to understand uh, when you uh, start working with employees and payroll and everything in QuickBooks is that you don't necessarily need a payroll subscription uh, through Intuit to be able to run payroll. Uh, or at least to be able to enter employees and enter payroll. Um, but you do need a subscription to get their automatic calculations. So for example, uh, you know, you pay somebody in a certain state and you need to have um, the payroll taxes and everything calculated automatically. And what's called the payroll tax tables download automatically, uh, then you will need a payroll subscription. So the function still works in QuickBooks. Uh, if you don't have a subscription, but if you want uh, some automation, if you want the, ca the taxes to be calculated automatically, then uh, you definitely would need a subscription. So I want to bring over this. This is from the Intuit website. Just give you an example of uh, what they have there for QuickBooks Desktop. Okay, so the self-service option, you've got the basic payroll, enhanced payroll, and then full service is assisted. And so you'll see here... Um, you can go to this website here. It's going to tell you, bring up this table. So the real basic service here, basic payroll, is just you enter paychecks, uh, pay by check or direct deposit, expert support, uh, integrates with QuickBooks. It, it is pretty basic, but it does download all your tax tables. So you got to run the payroll. You got to make the payroll taxes, um, deposits, and you have to fill out your forms. Okay. So enhanced goes up a notch and includes payroll tax forms. If, if anything, if you're going to run your own payroll, I would definitely do the enhanced uh, because this is very helpful with the W-2s and the payroll forms. And then assisted as a full service. It's just like using uh, or pretty much just like using like an ADP or a paychex. Um, I do have to say, though, in my experience with the full service payroll um, I would probably go with an outside service as opposed to the QuickBooks service, uh, just because the support is going to be a whole lot better. All right. Okay. So those are your basic options there uh, when you're doing payroll. So I want to briefly go through how to pay employees. Okay. So this is a sample company file. And what I'm going to do here is you can click the drop down menu uh, and go to the employee or payroll center, or you can just click it over here. Okay, we're going to click the payroll center and you'll see in this sample company file, it's already set up. But if you're just starting out, what you want to do is you want to go up to this payroll setup up here. And I'm going to go into this so that we can walk through briefly some of the steps. Okay, so when you first start payroll, you're going to have to go through these steps. And this makes it a whole lot simpler to get all your payroll items set up, to get your employees set up to get all the employee benefits, uh, et cetera, okay? So if we go to introduction, and I'm not gonna go through every one of these uh, because you can walk through it in your file, uh, but we'll go through company setup and you're gonna set up your compensation items and you'll see here you can add new, you can edit, you can delete, okay? Uh, we'll go to employee benefits and it's gonna go through all the different insurance, retirement, paid time off, miscellaneous, Okay, so I'm just going to continue through all of this. Okay, retirement, paid time off, miscellaneous. And again, you're just going to do this for your company. Okay, so employee setup, set up your employees. This is obviously very important. Um, you're going to go through and you're going to set up all of your employees. Okay, so if I click edit on Dan Miller, you're going to see you start off with your basic information. Um, hiring information and then how you're going to pay them and the amounts that are going to go into their paychecks. Okay. Health insurance, all the deductions that may come out of there, uh, sick time off. Okay. So you go through all of this and then you're going to do direct deposit if you want to do direct deposit. Okay. So the point of this is it walks you through every single step. So it's very, very important to go through on the setup on the front end with taxes, year-to-date payrolls, et cetera, to get this set up correctly. Okay. Now, 
let me close out of this. This kind of walks through the setup, okay? And when you're in the setup, you're going to create what's called a payroll schedule, okay? And your payroll schedule is however often you pay. So it may be bi-weekly, every two weeks, monthly, weekly, whatever the case may be, okay? So when you get into the payroll center, center here and it's time to pay your employees, okay? You're going to simply click on Start Scheduled Payroll, okay? Okay, and it's going to walk you through Enter the Payroll Information, okay? So let me expand this out a little bit. Okay, so we're going to look here. This is the payroll schedule by weekly employees selected to pay for. So it's got our employees here. Okay, and you'll see kind of a summary of their regular pay, their hours, etc. And you can either check on or off certain people if they get paid during that time period. Okay, and you want to make sure that the pay period end date is right. The check date is right. It's coming out of this checking account. Um, and make sure you have enough uh, money in there. You can print paychecks on check stock or handwrite and assign check numbers, okay? All right, so you can also click on each one of these employees. So Dan Miller, it's gonna bring up his individual paycheck, okay? So if there is something you need to add to this payroll, let's say other payroll items, let's say there's a mileage reimbursement, okay? And he drove 150 miles. Okay, so now you'll see over here in the employee summary, it's going to add in $67.50 for the mileage reimbursement based on this payroll item that we set up. Okay, all right, so once you go through and you get everything correct on each of these employees, let me cancel this. Okay, we're going to hit continue. Okay. And then it's going to give you a summary of what this looks like for each employee. So you've got the gross pay, the taxes, deductions, net pay, employer taxes, contributions, etc. Okay. There is no direct deposit set up for these employees in this sample company file. But once all of this is set, you're going to click create paycheck. Okay. And I think it said one of these. Uh, let's see. Let's put in uh, his rate at 15, and we'll say uh, that they worked 80 hours. Okay. Let me save and close that for Jim Smalley. Okay. So if we go to create paychecks, and this is from a closed period, there's a password on here. Okay. And so once you get through this, uh, you're going to basically create the paychecks and then you have the option to print them from QuickBooks if this is not direct deposit. Okay. All right. So the process of actually running the payroll can be very simple inside of QuickBooks. The key to the payroll is the setup. Okay. So when you get that subscription and if you're running it yourself, you definitely want to spend the time on the front end in the setup. Okay. And again, that's going to be under this payroll setup. And if you've never run payroll in QuickBooks, it'll, it'll walk you through this. But you definitely want to spend the time on the front end on this payroll setup. All right. We go into much more detail at the QuickBooks University on setting up payroll and going through all of these items, setting up on the front end and pre-tax items, etc. And I also offer personal support to our members of the QuickBooks University. Love to have you join us over there. Uh, at qbuniversity.org. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you soon.